I've always wanted to perform. I've always loved singing and dancing and imitating. I, I remember sitting in my room and watching Gene Kelly dance and doing everything I could to do what he was doing. That bug bit me so early. I think life is a reason to get dressed up. You don't, you don't necessarily need a, a special event for it. Kind of the best way to engage life is by looking like you're ready for it. Whenever I step out of the house, I'm ready for anything. And the best way that I can be ready is to look like I'm ready. You don't want to get caught in sweatpants. <laughs> Harlem's a very, very dear place to me. I'm from here, born and bred, and I love it. It seems like people are, are not afraid to be the biggest they can be in New York. And if you grow up with that constantly, then somehow it enforces that in your mind that you can do whatever you want. So you, you tend to kind of throw yourself into things and be an individual, be bright, be bold. It's important with the music for me to make people feel good, to engage people actively. You know, there's something about going back to another time, but not to any time specifically. You know, just not here. And I think that that's a really, really important thing to, to transport people through music and through the dress and some of the people that are around but to not make them feel like we're going back to such a specific time that they feel like they can't be a part of it. We're not going back to 1940 because I would not be able to participate to some extent in that journey. Who I am is somebody that doesn't just want to play in a bed of flowers but wear a bed of flowers, <laughs> wear all those colors. There's a, a brown shirt but there's also a red shirt. There's also a, a mustard shirt or a paisley shirt. Why not see what the mustard shirt looks like with the green blazer? Menswear hasn't changed in, in years. It's about the details. It's about the little things for, for us sometimes, not for us the wearer. You know, what, what the lining is like, what's happening on the inside cuff, you know? the inside of pockets, the socks even, you know. If I, didn't, if I wasn't sitting down, you might not see these socks. This is for me, this part right here is for me. The rest is for you, but this little detail, it's for me. I think people see dandyism as negative because they think it's superficial. But for me, the superficial aspect of it, being the exterior is only one level. A dandy, for me, is somebody who is a gentleman first. All the aspects of being cultured and well-versed and well-informed about art, about cuisine, about different types of music, politics, I think the dandy is just the ultimate gentleman. And I wouldn't say that I am the ultimate gentleman now, but like I said, I dress for who I want to be.